In this video, I want to show you how to create and format a basic graph in Google Slides. So this is the type of simple column graph that we can create, but you can't create it actually in Slides. The only way to create a graph is actually in Google Sheets. So I'm going to go over to the uh, workbook that I have open, and we start with our basic data. We've got the categories and the values for the data series. We're going to use a very simple just one data series here to create a graph. It's similar to if you've used other spreadsheet programs like Excel. It's similar where you highlight the data you want to graph and then you say insert chart and it will give you some recommendations of chart types but you only see three here. There are more. If you click on this tab, Chart Types, you see all of the different types of charts that you can use, line, area, column, bar, etc. So we're going to use the basic column graph just for this example, but know that you have a lot more that you can choose from. We click on Insert, and it inserts the graph on our worksheet. Now it's very large. The reason for that will become apparent in just a moment, but we do want it to be large we can now format or edit this graph. There are a number of different things you can do. You can select certain items within the graph and then apply certain formatting or if you want to apply all the formatting at once you can click on this little arrow in the top right corner and select advanced edit. The advanced edit tool allows us to choose all the different options for the chart and you see the live preview here on the right hand side. So it starts with the title Many times you don't need a title on the chart because you have a title on the slide that explains what this visual is about. So if you highlight that and delete it, it will then remove it once I exit that field. Notice it's moved it. Now, the thing that you'll notice is it does not make the graph any bigger even if you remove some of these elements. So the graph stays the same size, it just has more white space around it. The legend automatically it's there. In this case, of course, we don't need it because the title of the slide tells us that this is about orders. So we can use this drop down to say we don't want a legend at all. So we say none and that removes it. That's a choice that you have. You can continue down. You can set uh, the font that it's using, uh, the background color that it's using. Uh, depends on what it is that you, you want there. So we can continue on and now we can set some parameters about our axes. So our axes here horizontal that would be the one down at the bottom and you have different titles you can add if you want to. Fonts for labels make them bigger smaller those sorts of things. But you can also drop this down to choose the options for the left vertical axis. And here's where we see that title. Again if we don't want that again we don't need it it's duplicative we can exit out of that. The other thing with the measurement axis, in this case being the vertical one, you need to look at the minimum and maximum. Now it's going to make some decisions for you. In this case it happened to choose minimum of zero. But if you don't want your data to be distorted when it's displayed, you want to make sure you set that minimum to zero. It doesn't put it in here, you have to type it in, so it's not going to show you what it has selected. The other item that you have on a measurement axis are the grid lines. So those are those horizontal lines here. If you want to remove them, then you can't just choose zero here as the number. What you have to do is you leave the number where it is, but you choose the color to say none, and then it removes them. So that allows you to remove those grid lines from your display. So we continue on in our advanced editing here and we can take a look at each of the series. Now there's only one series here, but if you have multiple series, you can drop this down and then you select which series. You can set the color, what axis, the data labels. So the data labels is something that you're probably gonna to want to choose. And the option here is to put the value and you'll notice what Slides do, or Sheets does is it puts the label where it decides. Now if one of these columns wasn't tall enough it would put the label outside. So you don't have the option of where to put it, just simply that it is there or not there. You also don't have the option to put it only on some of the columns and not other columns. So those are the options that you want to consider. There are other ones you might want to think about depending on your data, but you're getting a live preview here right away. We click on update and now the graph, the chart in our sheet has been updated with whatever we asked it to do. So now we have a chart. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this and paste it into slides. And the way we do that is again we're going to click on the chart and click on this 
little drop down arrow and say copy chart. You could also just do the control C copy that would do the same thing. I'm going to go over to slides I go to my blank slide here and I'm going to just say paste control V in my case. Now when you go to paste it asks you do you want to link this chart to the spreadsheet or not? Well in many cases you're going to say yeah link it because if the spreadsheet updates then the chart will automatically update in your presentation. So that's a good feature, but you do have the choice. I'll click on paste. Now you notice that it comes in and then I can move it around. It comes in as an image, so you can't format it here. You would have to open it up again in Sheets or open that workbook to be able to edit it. It does come in as an image. Now the reason we want it to be as large as possible is around clarity. So I'm going to, use, I'm going to move this one over here and then I'm going to show you if I inserted, if I made this graph smaller, for example, on my sheet, and now I said copy it, go over to slides, and I'll say paste again, it comes in smaller. So I can make this as big as the other one, but what you'll notice is it's a lot fuzzier, and that is because it is an image. And that's the problem that you run into with images because it's only picking up the number of pixels it has from the original sheet. So try on your sheet to make your graph as large as you can in, your, in the space that you have before you copy it because then you'll get the best image in your uh, slide when you want to present. So that's how you create a basic graph and format a basic graph in slides. Now when you move to a more professional presentation tool like PowerPoint, this is the type of graph that you can create. You have a lot more control over uh, virtually every aspect. You can actually create the chart in PowerPoint. You can control where labels are, column widths, uh, lines, all sorts of parameters when you move to a professional presentation product.